Why do we spend countless hours and dollars out in our shop working on our cars, tinkering with our boats, putting together our motorcycles? I've always been curious what it is behind all of it. So I'm gonna go out and talk to some people. And we're gonna find out why. Welcome to Velocity Quest. In this episode, I'm talking to David Vital. David is most definitely a hardcore car guy. He's going to sit down and tell us a little bit about his E30 M3 and what it means to him. What well, one word describes how I feel about this car? Hmm. I guess I don't want to say prideful in any, any way, um, but there's just a sense of, um, I guess there is a little bit of pride of how it looks to upkeep it this way, to, mm -hmm. to kind of have this car in this kind of condition. There was only about uh, 5,000 of these imported into the United States oh. between 80... The wide body version? The M3, oh. E30 M3 version. Uh, was only, there was only a, so many imported. Um, basically, they estimate that it's maybe about half of them still running. Really? Yeah. There's maybe about half of them still running. Wow. Um, whether they're on track or whether they're garage queens or totally. whether they're you know daily drivers, I doubt there are very many daily drivers out there. But yeah, there are. Wow. Um, I, I I try to uh, being that that's such a kind of a small cult car. Mm -hmm. um, whenever I see one, I definitely try to you know find. Oh it. hey like, dude, hey, like, I got hey, one just like over. it. Like pull over, let me talk to you, um, because you don't really see them that often. Yeah. I try to involve them as much as possible. I mean, finally, my oldest two are at the point where they can actually, you know, really help out. I'm still very cautious about letting them up under the car or anything like that. I mean, yeah. I have jack stands under there, totally but still, I'm still. like, ah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm like, I'll let you, you know, put the wheel on or mm -hmm. something like that or tighten down the lug nuts. Um, but I really don't want them under the car necessarily. But yeah, I'll, I'll, when I'm doing oil changes, they're my spotters. They're the ones that, are, hey, it's done leaking, it's yeah. done draining. Or they, you know, I let them pour the oil into the into the car. Awesome. Help them. They help me wash it. Um, they like they like to clean the uh, one of my sons. He's, he's particularly he likes to take the wipes, the Maguire wipes or Armour wipes, whatever I'm using at the time, and uh, he likes to go in there. And he knows he has a routine down where he takes off his shoes and everything and just goes barefoot inside my car. Awesome. Wipes it all down. Awesome. Comes out. Like, Where's my dollar? <laughs> <laughs> it's not for the love, Daddy. You gotta pay this guy. <laughs> Alive. I mean, really. Um, it's kind of like a, a warm up, preheating the oven as I'm, uh, you know, driving down this long driveway here until I'm just anticipating hitting that pavement out there. As soon as I hit that, drop it in the gear and, you know, just take off. Mm -hmm. 